<laughs> Don't worry, no questions to be asked. <laughs> nice, yeah? Happy? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Dom, thank you for joining us. After a tough game on Saturday, we look forward to the exciting trip to our bridge. Of all pe <laughs> of all the people, to be fair, I'd rather do it then than in like a minute. Crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, go again. Definitely. Yeah, really exciting. Um, you know, I've got a few, a few mates who were season ticket holders at Burnley, so... I'm looking forward to seeing a few familiar faces there as well. But um, yeah, you know they they were playing some great stuff, and my, um, you know my friend who, who goes watching them every week says it's the best football he's seen at, at Turf Moor for a lot of years. So you know it's exciting. It's it's good, a good chance for us to be put up against one of the best and see see where we where we do. All good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Right. All right. <laughs> Lewis, thank you for joining us. After Saturday's result, we look forward to the really exciting test of Burnley tomorrow night. How excited and has the preparation been for that one? Yeah, it's been it's been good. Um, obviously, we had some we had a good chat this morning about sort of hold it. There, we'll start again. <laughs> I I want to redo my question anyway. Is that all right? Yeah, we've we're expecting between two hundred and fifty and three hundred fans heading up. It's absolutely fantastic sport for a Tuesday night and. I suppose it's just extending our thanks again, isn't it? Yeah, listen, they've, they've been fantastic and it's a little bit of a um, uh, like an up, up turn for them so they can go and, and experience something new and, and, and I'm not surprised that we're getting so many coming. Like you just, I've just got to look at the last few away games that we've had, how many have come and supported us and, and drove us on, which, by the way, has helped us right and um, they deserve that. I think we didn't give them something to cheer about on Saturday, but we'll be going all for that tomorrow. Thank you, Lewis. to be fair yeah I'm nearly back as well so we expect to see you back in training next week potentially yeah essentially I could be back up in, back down to call the next week 
Doing really well, like I've been keeping up with the game and uh, the results as well. It's been really positive, so like I'm happy that like, it's been going well. Hopefully, I can come back and just, just like, carry on with that. out of the FA Cup and the Papa John's Trophy in the last seven days. Crawley have just one chance left of club glory and tonight officially they face the best team in the country outside of the Premier League as they face championship leaders Burnley. Can Crawley upset the odds and produce a performance similar to the one that defeated Premier League Fulham in round two? Well, a very good evening everybody and a very warm welcome from Turf Moor, the home of Burnley Football Club where it's me, Gary Smith, and my summariser, as per usual on away days, Ken Blackmore, ready to bring you full match coverage of this Carabao Cup round three tie between Championship leaders Burnley and League Two Crawley Town. The players are out on the pitch in front of us. We are high at the back, at the top of the main stand. The Crawley fans are away to our right-hand side. One for Barnes and one for McNally so far, Ken. But interestingly, both have come from set pieces. As a ball play forward, Telford gets it under control. Got Telford! Oh, what a goal! Well, well, well. Telford scores! The first time Crawley have broke really into Burnley half. And the visitors take the lead in the Carabao Cup. <laughs> happy place, happy place. <laughs> Turf ball. Dom Telford with his fourth of the season. Just a long pump forward from the back. Telford got it under control and the visitors have the lead with 22 minutes on the clock. Dom Telford one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper after he took it under control and the visitors have the lead, Ken. As the ball's played in, there's a header back across the goal and it is an immediate equaliser. As the ball was played in from that far side, it is the skipper, Ashley Barnes, who was leaning back slightly, but managed to get his head on the ball. And Crawley's lead lasted for all of two minutes, Ken, as the header from Barnes goes back across Balcom and into the bottom corner. And we're all square here again at Turf Moor. And it's game on as it's Burnley 1, Crawley Town 1.
worked out to that far side for Burnley for Benson again. Just over 78 minutes played. Good, strong challenge goes in. Benson comes away with it, pulls it in. A little back heel! And surely there's an offside flag, but it doesn't go up. And Zaruri taps it home from inside the six-yard box. And that is surely going to be the goal that you would think now will win this tie for Burnley. The championship side in front with just 12 minutes left on the clock. Here's Joel Lynch, steps away from Brownhill, sliding into the feet of Hessenthaler. Hessenthaler almost falls over the ball, does fall over the ball in the end. And it's Egan Riley that breaks forward and plays it to Vettinho on that right-hand side, running into the penalty area, gets it square, it's going to be a third goal. Zaruri taps it home, yep. and that wraps it up for the home side. And if it wasn't already done and dusted, then Crawley giving it away in the midfield. Championship side who progressed to round four of the EFL Cup. There is no giant killing here tonight for Crawley Town, but the players in the white shirts out there tonight, Lewis Young, all the coaching staff, everybody connected with the club has done themselves absolutely proud travelling up from Sussex to be here in Lancashire tonight to take on the best side in the league. We haven't got the exact figure, but I think it's around 300 Crawley fans today. On a Tuesday night up, Tuesday night up to Burnley, you couldn't hear anyone but the Crawley fans today. Fantastic. Like, listen, I'll probably sound like a broken record how much I, I, I um, give them praise. And you could see me at the end making sure that all the players stayed out and gave them, gave them a little five minutes because, listen, they've been fantastic all season. But, and today, to come all the way to Burnley to come and support us and, and hopefully we send them, send them home happy because um, ultimately this is why we play football, to entertain and, and hopefully they were that... You've briefly told us off camera, but can you just sum up your emotions when that first goal did go in from Dom? Yeah, I can really, I can really believe it. To be honest, <laughs> it was one of them. But uh, yeah, it was a funny one because no, I mean, no one expects anything from us like coming up here, and, and we played a team that that uh, players who need to get minutes, players are trying to get fit, players are trying to push for positions. And if you looked at the team sheet before the game, I don't think anyone in the in the world would have thought that we'd probably go one 0 up. Uh, to be honest. Um, and that's including myself, but we did go one 0 up, and yeah, it was enjoyable. But well, I mean, we stayed in the game. It, it was it was touch and go, really. Like that, every man did their job and worked hard. And, and the goal, obviously, we, we deserved it. Don deserves it. He's been working hard, and it's been tough for the team. A lot of negative press around the team, and not much. It's, it's tough. Do you know what I mean? So. To, to give that performance after everything's against you, it's, it's good, it's a positive. Lynch, a great performance today, well done. Cheers, mate, cheers. Thank you. Top man, thank cheers, you. Cheers, guys. Do you want to speak to Gary? Yeah. Thank you. Mate, I'm getting stiffer and stiffer. as that in you? <laughs> 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 my arse cheeks like... <laughs> cheers, Lynchy.